All right, Dominic Izzo, Izzo Wing Chun out here in Chicago, and this one's going to ruffle a lot of your feathers. Guys, I think a lot of you don't know what the fuck a fight is. And it kind of hit me today because I, I keep beating a dead horse with a lot of topics, and one of them is always going to come back to sparring. You know, why is it over the years that everybody keeps asking me, like, we don't see any sparring videos of you? No sparring. And, dude, it, it is amazing how, like, when you train the same art for decades, you will learn something new. And in the same process, I learned something new today. It has everything to do with my background of where I started and then real life pressure testing and the reality of what a fight is and then what you guys train for. And I'm going to go through some examples on this for a second. Understand something. When I choose these videos to use as an example, they're just an example. I'm not calling anybody out, not criticizing anybody in this specific video. I'm just saying this is where the reference point was. So I was going through, uh, you know, YouTube suggestions and searches and whatnot. And, um, uh, I looked armchair violence, who I did a video on the other day with uh, the centerline theory. This just happens to pull up in my feed. So uh, I, I'm, I, and there's no need for sound on any of these today. But as I'm watching the video sparring between him and Icy Mike, again, I have no contact with Icy Mike. Never met him. I actually thought he did a great video explaining Bong Sao. I really do. Um, I know he was a police officer. I don't know where he was or how long he was on. So I'm not going to go tit for tat on our experiences on that. But I'm going to go on this for a second. I'm watching this video, and uh, again, this is me, and I'm being 100% legitimately legitimate of this. I don't know what this accomplishes outside of being a workout and for cardiovascular uh, uh, training. Th uh, I'm, I'm being dead fucking serious with you guys on this. This type of training, you guys could say the exact same thing about chi sao, right? Because I don't do this. I don't know the features and the benefits of it for the same parallel. You guys don't do chi sao and don't know the features and the benefit of it. So it's going to be the same class of it. When you're sparring like this, I never understood why they're wearing gloves. If they're going at this soft pace, I don't understand why they're doing it. Timing, distance, sure. But it's the footwork that finally hit me today about why you'll never see me sparring like this. Because to me, this has zero reality application outside of sport none no fucking point whatsoever and i started to realize shit this is where we're at right now and i'm not insulting these two men right now i'm just saying the bouncing the in and out all of this this is a sport this is boxing this is mma more specifically this is kept to boxing and kickboxing this is tagging somebody with striking energy as I, was, as I was looking at this, trying to think about what I wanted to talk in a video, I started to realize that that's, that's how I started. I, didn't, I was never a boxer, right? I started as a, as a wrestler. That's where I was from 12 years old, man. I just, that, that's me in the black bottoms and red top with the dark black hair. You know, uh, when, when I was much, was that, this, I'm 17 years old in this. This is 1992. And, um, you know, this is this is where I came from. This was my background. This is what I did. And, you know, I loved I loved wrestling. And I was a short guy. I was I think I was only five foot five here. Uh, 135 pounds. A oh, little fireman's carry. He used to slam guys around. Nice. This was what I did. Right. And if I started from day one as a wrestler, then that's what I knew. Right. Didn't know how to bridge the gap as a striker knew how to bridge the gap as a wrestler. So think about that for a second, right? It's like how I was trained. And, I'm, and so I'm externally processing the same way that I put this through the, the process of the video this, uh, here. So I'm trying to think today, it's like, where did this lead to? How did this lead, how did this lead my life? Well, as I progressed, and I started working in the nightclub and the bar industry in the Chicago area, a couple of different things that I noticed, right? Let's see what else did I do. Oh, he takes me down there, you son of a bitch. Just to let you know, I, I, oh, I, was, yeah, I, was, I was the best at rolling. Could, nobody could do better than I could. Um, by the way, I win this match. You know, I'll, I'll speed it up for you. Just a little, little bit of a, a little props here. Sit down, you son of a bitch. Um, I, uh, I did win this match. We'll watch it right here. I go for yeah. This is just, 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 just this a little bit. Just you guys can see how, how did I finish? Oh, another fireman's boom. Yeah, you know, and then I just walk his head and pin him. Um, this was, come on, dude, just go pin him. I, I, I can't let you guys not see how I finish. This is this is an ego boost for me right here. That's all. That's all. This is just me boosting the ego. Slam it. Boom. There you go. I won. All right. Um, 
and I started to think when I got into the nightclub industry, I worked at 4 a.m. bars, and the, they were, you know, what did you have? You, you always, fights that I've always seen, they, they went from a push to a shove, which starts at a pre-contact range. A push and a shove, all you have to do is close your fist and then aim it for the ch- from the chest to the face. turns into a strike, right? Um, and that is your striking energy. And then what does that normally do? Guys close the gap. It's a tighter space. They go into wrestling. So I started thinking, how do people not see this? All you have to do is Google street fights, and you're looking. They're in the street, the backyard fights, all this. The footwork that has to be done, it's not possible. In, in, if you're wearing boots, if you're wearing gym shoes, if you're on ice, and I started to think, why is it that so many fucking people think that they're they're not going to be like, you know, look at look at here. Here's, a, here's a, a, a quick example of more wrestling. Look at Greco-Roman wrestling. And th- that it, that's all upper body, right? So there's no, you can't go for a takedown. It's all, up, it's all throws and upper bodies. But again, this is still martial art. This is, this has more of a reality for bar fights and street fights than boxing does. 100%. This is where most guys get tired and the, 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 the range they're going into, right? And granted, they're not hitting each other. They're not allowed to elbow. But this, Look what they're doing. They're staying flat on their feet. There's no bouncing, right? There's no there's no coming in and out. This is ultimate contact range where you're this is where sticking hands and chisau is superior to, right? So I kind of want this is this was my background, was all this type of of footwork. Then I started to realize why the hell did the uneducated, meaning that those who have never been in real fights, why are they so hell bent? on the, the, the sparring like you saw Icy Mike and uh, armchair violence uh, do. I think there's only one answer for that that we could really ever uh, go back to. And it's sad. You got to go back to it. You got to talk about it. It's because we saw him doing it. We saw Bruce Lee doing it. The footwork with James Coburn, right? So you got that aspect of it. And then where did this, where did that bleed off into too after we started to see his old videotapes and whatnot? Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the fight between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris, which so many people, do you know a couple different things? Can I tell you something? Do you know how many people think that A, this fight legitimately happened? And this is worse. I don't, I gotta, I gotta do this one for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump this into play. Did you guys know? Oh, I'm going to really hurt some of your feelings. I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm going to do this. Um, shit. I I can't tell you how many times I've played this. Do you know how many people think this is real? There are countless people in comment sections that think that this is legitimately Bruce Lee playing ping pongs with nunchucks. Guys, if this is the first place you're hearing it, this is not. This is bullshit. This was uh, uh, not real. It was CGI, whatever you want to call it. It's not real. So there's. this is where the problem and the illusion started from. And I started, like I said, this is where my aha moment was coming today. I was watching this, and I'm like, this is it. This is where Bruce Lee ruined the reality of fighting and why people think that fighting is this tap dancing Bruce Lee shit range. And they're the people who've never been in a fight. This is the moment, right? Chuck Norris getting his ass kicked. Oh, this before the cat, uh, the cat already screamed. So we had that 20 minutes of warm up time. What does Bruce, what does Chuck Norris do? He looks down. That's it. This, in my opinion, this was the moment. This was the moment in cinematic history that changed the fucking world, and all of a sudden, people who had been in reality of fights, bar fights, all this shit, it had happened and said, oh my God, this is how we have to do things now. Watch his eyes. This is it. (sighs) Boom. That's the moment. Right there. This movie, this Bruce Lee movie, and I'm not going to lie. I don't even remember what the title is. I saw it as a kid. Here you have it. This is the moment in history that changed martial arts 
that fucking ruined the reality of combat fighting. Oh, you have to bounce on your feet. You clearly, this is the only way you could do it. Because he sees that, and it changes how, I'm going to lose because I see Bruce Lee doing that. And that extended for us, too. Don't forget, I was a big fucking Rocky Balboa fan. And uh, what did we see in Rocky Three? He had to learn to train like a, uh, quote, not my word, Paulie's world, colored fighter, right? And look what he's trying to do. He's trying to get rhythm and bouncing and and here's where's the footwork? I can't do it. You guys, I'm not going to play it because I'm not going to get copyright uh, uh, ding on this. But he can't move. He can't move like a colored fighter. Can't move like a black fighter. Can't move like an Amer- African-American fighter. He's moving flat-footed. Now he's got to learn to move like a boxer. So this is where Bruce Lee fucked everything up, in my opinion, for fighting, is that this fan base of people who have really never been punched in the face from doing all that dancing around. And this is, this is it. This is why I won't do it. And now it, it makes sense to me is because what you saw uh, icy Mike and armchair quarterback doing is they're, they're exercising. They're, that, that's, that's not a fight. It's, it's not a fight and it's an exercise. And again, too, I personally, I don't get why they train with uh, sparring gear on. That's just me. And now I'm not looking for a fucking challenge because I don't care. I'm offering my opinion and why it makes sense to me. Well, I never had a problem taking a punch in the face, closing the gap, being flat-footed because that's where my balance was because 99.9% of all fights ended up in that grappling range because guys got exhausted. One guy was taller, fatter, shorter, body weight changes, whatever it was, right, experience. And you always wound up in a safety of grabbing them so they wouldn't hit you, and that's wrestling range, grappling range. You won't see bar fights where guys are jumping around like Bruce Lee. You won't see it in the fucking backyard uh, underground fights after the second round where they're exhausted. So this this is just a kind of like a self-discovery further answer for all you guys out there who's like, why do we ever see sparring videos of, of you? Because sparring's not a fight. And sparring's not a display of skill. Sparring's a display of endurance. Sparring's a display of, of timing. Sparring's a display of, like, target acquisition, but sparring's not a display of skill or fighting. It's just not. So my, I will always be flat-footed. Yeah, if you think you could sweep me or go for a takedown, good luck. It is what it is. But now it, it, I know that my energy roots up from the ground, and you can't get that from, uh, you know, bouncing around on your toes. So thanks, Bruce Lee, once again, for fucking shit up and teaching people that, oh, the, that you know, the movies were fights. They're not. And this is why a lot of stuff like the guys like Thomas Marks do not know what the fuck they're talking about. Other JKD people do not know what the fuck they're talking about. Why boxing is a sport. Would I want to get hit by a boxer on the street? Fuck no, dude. Fuck no. But if he hits me and it doesn't do the job and I'm closing the gap and there's cars in the parking lot and he doesn't have that space to back up, I've got the advantage. So, you know, I hope that makes sense. And I mean, again, you guys really got to wake up and start realizing what the fuck a real fight is. They're aggressive. They're brutal. They are horrible. Uh, if you've ever really been in a fight you, and you've ever seen red, you know what I'm talking about? It's not a nice place to be. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible place to be. And the last thing you are thinking about is being a calm martial artist, emptying your mind, breathing in the flow, and just ad- and being like water. If you've ever been a real fucking fight, you know that being like water doesn't exist. Being like hellfire exists. And the last fucking thing you do is adapt to the situation. You make that motherfucker adapt to yours. So, you know, I'm not into this whole bullshit martial arts shit thing. I'm into fighting because that's sadly sp- spots in my life that I've been in. I don't ever want it to be in again. Never. But it just explains why I don't do sparring and why I think that Bruce Lee and the movies ruined the reality of fighting and why now all you guys see is theory and sparring and conversation. Hope that makes sense. See you guys in the next video. I'll eventually click this off.